Who doesn't love a part two, huh? Well, this week we have part two of your submitted ideas for the Riders Republic year two pass. Now, last week's group was wet and wild, hitting it hard with those water sports. Will that trend continue or will we see a totally new idea of what could be coming next year? Stick around. It's all up next. Welcome back to the Riders Report. Before we get started today, we want to recognize our existing YouTube members. A special thank you goes out to Executive Producers Bone Crusher 2D, Coach 34, and My Mom, and our fans and Fans Plus. If you'd like to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month and help support our channel, you can hit join below to learn more about perks like early access to the Riders Report, emojis and badges, a members only video per month, sneak peeks, and more. We have the same news as last week. First up, the UB Photo Mode competition is open until October 10th. You have to use Photo Mode in any Ubisoft title to try and get your best picture, and you can win some awesome prizes and see your work featured in a digital art gallery in New York City. If you want to learn more, just head to photomode-ubisoft.com. We're also working on TFG Director Mode, the Writer's Republic video edit competition. We have eight submissions to watch through, so we'll have some more news in the coming weeks about when you'll get to see all of those videos. Now, let's get into it. The final five from our year to uh, fan survey. Thank you. Let's do it. And here we are. Let's get back into it. As promised, we had 10 submissions for the year two guess form. Are your speculations on what the seasons are going to look like in the second year of Riders Republic? Um, we have six or no, we have number six. We have five more to get through today here. Uh, so let's just kick it off. Same as last week, right? Everything just started off with Hollow Endeavor. Run it down. Yep. And this time we're going to do it the way we specified last time. So just run through the entire form first. No comments, no fillers, just all four seasons. And then you can comment on that specific thing. So we'll try and get through it a little bit quicker. I, I, I was going to say, I feel like that was directed at <laughs> me until you finished it with try and get through it a little quicker well last so, time i wrote those rules and you're like yeah no that sounds great i'll keep it nice and smooth and then out the window on the first one i sure did yeah we're still working on keeping promises <laughs> i digress here we go with number six hollow endeavor i was instructed just to read the list down hollow endeavor that's who we're talking about here season one snowdown that main focus will be optimized BMX and BMX modes, including a new showdown arena or a new mode. I'm assuming that's new mode. Don't talk, Nick. Just keep going. The season one funkies for Hollow Endeavor would more than likely be a mini bike, literally a tiny BMX bike, or you knew this one. You knew this one was coming. A sled, uh, and then others would be a BMX tricks battle, a snowdown which would be showdown, but with very slippy snow. Let's talk. Oh, no, season wait, two. sorry. Season two. <laughs> I was going to do it again. Season two, clan wars. That main focus is going to be clan competitions and events, really focusing on the multiplayer aspect of it. Uh, Funky would be a tandem bike. I mm, tandem Ooh. bike. Uh, and then we would have what is MR? Mass race. Thank you. Trick battle. Tricks battle and then free free for f f r sure, sure. locations Something. okay so we're gonna have new new mass races tricks battle and then f f r locations uh season three looking like surfs up or wave rush both of those names i love them M the main focus water sports yet again kayaks parasails the whole shebang funkies would be a jet ski and then water events more water events tacked on on top of that Wrapping it up with season four, Road Rage. Uh, the main focus there would be a skateboard or a longboard. So focusing on the road sports there, like we've been saying, uh, those funkies would be a motorized or a rocket skateboard. Dig it. And uh, downhill longboard road races and more events for those sports to go along with that. Wow. 
So this one follows along with some of the other trends that we've been seeing, specifically the weather themed seasons, which I really enjoy. Um, it makes sense to do those. Like, I don't think riders is going to move from that system, right? No. And now that I think about it, I look at the sample image from year one and winter is season one showdown season two season three summer season four bmx easy to follow i really mm -hmm. liked the clan war season where wants to see some more clan competitions or events and uh then the tandem bike yeah i think that would just be perfect to ride around in yeah and this i mean this season seems like it may be out of the grasp of the game where it is right now, but who's to say? I mean, all of these seasons are meant to bring something new to the game. So at that point, multiplayer may be the focus. You may be able to do more co-op. Um, I'm going to bring it back again. Another Ubisoft title that we know and love. Say it with me. Track Mania. Track Mania Turbo had a tandem bike, tandem car thing that they tried out. And Mitch and I both tried it. But the co-op driver thing just really doesn't work that well. So I'd be interested to see how a tandem bike would work. What would that second person be doing? Um, I see that being really useful in like a showdown scenario, like a Mario Kart double dash scenario Ooh. where you have like baby Luigi on the back of the tandem bike throwing or shooting or doing whatever. And then you have a navigator in front. Do you see that any any other options of how a tandem bike could be used in the game other than just looking <laughs> drop dead gorgeous on the map? I've seen some races in cars in real life where someone has to do gas and brake and the other does the steering. Mm. So maybe you could separate it into those two. Power boats do that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good one. I dig, I dig that. Um, all of this. I mean, yeah, we saw water sports yet again and we saw more skateboards and longboards. So hollow is along the, the same thinking of everybody else. None of these seem completely out of left field. Like they all seem pretty, pretty achievable. Um, I'll be interested to see what the rest of the pack says, but that, that's a great start. Yeah, and we'll be doing Mr. Water next. The I wonder what his season three is going to look like. <laughs> we'll see. He's starting off with season one being spooky autumn. So the main focus is Halloween. He's going to add the dirt bike in for Halloween and then have replay mode and gear customization. Season two, Winterfest part two. Ooh. This is going to be all focused on Christmas and winter. And then speed riding is the funky, which is mm -hmm. the ski and the parachute combination. Mm -hmm. And then he would want custom mass races for streamers in season two. Then uh, three, spring blossom, not water themed yet. Uh, focusing on spring and nature, but then the funky is kayaking. There, there it is. is. <laughs> Knew it. And <laughs> uh, adding in some more competition events and tournaments. And he wraps it up with summertime, focusing on summer, adding the jet ski, bringing more water, and then some trick mass races. So you get mass races, but points count towards winning. And I love that one. That was one of my one of my biggest pieces of feedback on mass races is doing tricks should do something. It should refill your speed boost or work on some point system. So I like where his head's at. Yeah. Um. I, I do like where his head is here. Uh, the only the one big one that I had like a gripe with is having the dirt bike as a funky. Mm -hmm. I don't I can see them doing it. I, I really could see them making this just a funky something cool to do like the uh, like the snowmobile. But on the other end, we have so many bike physics in this game. It would it would be such a silly move not to fully invest in a full on dirt bike season at this point. Like, you know what I mean? Like we have so many physics, we have everything. We have the engine noise, we have the snowmobile speed, got all of the pieces there, throw that together. I, I would hate to see a dirt bike as a funky. That being said, it would be the only thing that I would play with, but I, I want it to have a fair shake. I, I don't think I would put the dirt bike in the funkies. I would put it in the main focus. Um, but yeah, other than that, Winterfest, bold naming that after Steep. I'm assuming that this is coming from Steep, uh, including the speed riding in there as well. Um, I do enjoy the nod. Uh, I do enjoy all of the artwork and the vibe of Winterfest. And no, you know what? Honestly, I would. I'm changing what I just said two seconds ago. I want to see them try Winterfest and do it better mm -hmm. in Riders Republic. I feel like that's an awesome nod to those dedicated steep players that had that DLC way back when. Um, 
and they that there's a lot of room to improve on. So it, it seems like it fits Riders Republic more than it fits Steep as well. It would fit, and especially with the number of people, I think they could do mm. something cool with say the same with the event to save the planet. They could add Winterfest to the Tetons where it's a little bit emptier, add in some fun events, and then I think they would really have to hammer like make a ridge, but have some NPCs and like Christmas music blasting. Yeah. Maybe a stage. I like his, you know, going with the season themes too. There's a lot of opportunity where they could make the map, you know, dark with just jack o' lanterns mm. around for Halloween, the whole map dark. Maybe there's a headless horseman running around that you have to kind of follow or follow his trail. Oh, wow. Cool. And uh, then the same thing with Santa. You could have him flying around in the sled and then you have to wingsuit behind him to help deliver presents. There's <laughs> way I too really, many options for the season. I, re- I don't want regular Santa though. I would want like robot Santa from Steezy Futurama. Steezy Claus. Steezy Claus. <laughs> Ste- Steezy Nick. <laughs> um, yeah, and then and then wrapping it up again, we just got to mention it. We're two for two on the day for water sports. So, devs, you're you're hearing what the people want. It sounds like the water really needs to be um, used and abused here in, in the near future. Let's move on to our third uh, submission of the day from Braden. Braden wants season one to be named Blizzard Speed. That main focus is going to be something like Winterfest from Steep. To, here we go. They're on to something. Uh, Funkies here would be a ski bike. I'm here and uh, nothing for the other. So we're just hitting Winterfest with a ski bike. Season two, Extreme Trials would feature different types of sports like kayaking. <laughs> That's That Funky would then be the kayak. And uh, again, no others to add on here. I'm, I'm sensing a trend. I'm going to stop talking about the others category with season three stunt pack. Not to be confused with adrenaline or it, what was it called in steep? Well, it was Adventure. the adrenaline pack. Adrenaline pack. Mm-hmm. Not to be confused with the adrenaline pack. The stunt pack would be like Shack Daddies, but <laughs> less weird and wonky and more like the parkour bike stunt. Um, and that is all that we have there and uh, did not close out a season four. So working with a shortened list, but that's enough. I, I think we have enough here to get the vibe of what Braden was going for. Um, second two for three here on bringing Winterfest back to Riders Republic with Blizzard speed. Hm. I think it fits. <laughs> It's yeah. the attitude of the game a lot more, and I want to see it again. I still have a sticker somewhere of Winterfest. I uh, definitely still have stickers from Winterfest around the house. They haunt me. And then we <laughs> had uh, kayaking coming back again. No surprise. Season three. I do like the idea. Those uh, events where you have to ride the bike kind of around Riders Ridge and in the woods have to stay on the narrow beams. Those are a lot of fun, and I think they could add a ton of those into the game, make some more technical bike tracks. And that's going to work too with the BMX bike. It's yeah. an easy ad. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, all of those bike stunts as well, that doesn't hurt the game in ho- as a whole as well, because you have time trials, you have other things that people can use as tournament markers. You know, the, these very, whenever you do a tricks based tournament, it's very, you know, you, you're following the points, you're assigning points, you're using the game's point system, whatever. You can cheat those. You can you can squirrel your way to the top. Um, but stuff like bike stunts and like follow the leader and these very like on the edge challenges, that's just straight up skill. So you can time those. You can give people a time or, you know, you can say, hey, you need to finish this in five seconds or you can't compete. Or you just time them and say, Mitch hit it in five seconds. Nick hit it in six seconds. Therefore, Mitch is the winner. That's super exciting content. Yeah, I would love to see more of those bike stunt trails and all that through the game. You know what? I we should do I, for our next Charter Flight game. Is no, exactly I, just what, what I, I want them to do. Um, What's up? Kind of like where you have the competitive rock climbing, where you have the exact same track set up on two sides. Yes. Imagine having genius. two like BMX yep. or bike stunt tracks next to each other. And then it is just a complete race to see who gets to the end first. That's genius. Yeah. And that's not hard <laughs> to implement either. Copy paste. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll go on to Teal Pop next. That's another new name I haven't seen that's before. Cool, so. That's a cool name. Yeah. I really we, like that. We're going to, uh, season one is called Builders Winter. So okay. the main focus is creating your own park and sharing yeah. them with the community, just yep. like Skate 3. Sure is. Yep. The uh, 
Funky Zer Rocket BMX and 50cc mini dirt bikes, <laughs> which will be a teaser for motocross. And then oh the uh, we'll add in session markers and instant replay. So maybe just adding more to the session marker mm. replay mode. Will you will you allow me one funny story yes. that okay, um, a fifty cc mini bike I dipped my, that was the first motorcycle that I ever rode myself a dirt bike I think I was in third grade third or fourth grade very little kid um, I tipped it I stopped it stalled it and fell over on me I was wearing jeans but the exhaust pipe was up against my jeans and I could feel that heat coming through right my mom's standing over there to, oh my god oh my somebody help my son and the uncle or granddad of whoever's house we were at stopped her and goes uh-uh he's got to learn for himself <laughs> and i'm sitting there going what no i don't get help me get this off me so that <laughs> there has to be a mode in there where you can almost singe your leg on a 50 cc mini bike and no one's there to help you get up that's it it taught me some life lesson down the road but that's it that was very triggering to read that please <laughs> continue i'm sorry teal pop i'm sorry mitch i'm sorry everyone no problem that was your one you get for the main <laughs> wow. topic really uh, dug something up out of me teal pop the season two is going to be death race with the multiplayer mode death race where the only okay. one left standing in a series of races that eliminates riders after each round or each lap okay uh then we got firework bikes go-karts and downhill derby cars what is this dude smoking? I don't oh know. My. I like the downhill <laughs> derby you cars, me? though. <laughs> and then we got downhill drag style races. So this is just all speed, all downhill death yeah. race season. Number three, summer stees with full customization of gear and outfits. Inline skates, speed skates, roller skates, and a funky multiplayer mode and more funky graphic style like we saw in the mini bikes challenge. So that one that does 2D and you're kind of mm -hmm. side scrolling. And then the final thing, Riders Utopia for season four, Moto plus scooter introduction, <laughs> adding three wheelers, four wheelers, 50 cc mini bikes oh, again, wow. mountain boards, rocket mountain boards, dirt scooters, and oh. new tournament style races. <laughs> I think he got to season four and he thinks this is where Riders Republic's going to end. So they just dump everything they've been working <laughs> on into it and say, here you go. Game's over. <laughs> Send it, send it. Send. They're going to Oprah their season four next year. Yep. You get a three-wheeler. You get a four-wheeler. Here's a CC. Here's a mountain board. Here's a mountain board. Dirt scooters. Give them to everybody. <laughs> so, okay, takeaways from Teal Pop. They either work for Red Bull or they're going to secure some massive sponsorship from Red Bull for just year two in Riders Republic because all of these seem aligned with red bull events in real life i mean mm -hmm. when you said the downhill derby cars red red bull downhill they also have the flug tag mm -hmm. where or flug tag flug zoig flug zoig yeah flug tag um yeah where like build your own like, i love that idea it fits for this game you have the paper you know the the uh paper airplane you know rocket wingsuit in here already so it already has that like diy kind of feeling to it firework bikes, go-karts, downhill derby cars. Those are all like build it in your garage, take it outside and turn it on and hope it doesn't explode. Again, this whole layout is just it's just triggering of my of my childhood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love the the death race mode I've heard. I think someone else suggested that too and that's mm -hmm. common in some games where like the last place racer gets eliminated every 10 seconds. Yeah. I do love that downhill theme. I think it was number three with the skates mm -hmm. so skates for going downhill and then adding in or no i think that was season four maybe. it was season but, two the downhill drag style races yeah would go I, along with the downhill derby cars yeah i love the downhill derby <clears throat> cars you could like mm -hmm. build your own we won't get into that that's a whole whole another that's our own game we should just develop there we it, go they need they need to let us customize the color of shirt that we're wearing and the frame of our bike before we get into building our own downhill derby I guess, cars yes baby, baby steps, steps right <laughs> baby steps but i mean season three here we also have full customization mm -hmm. period full stop yep. gear and outfits which i think that should be the first thing that they unveil i really think that that would be my main focus for season one would be just full customization here it is um especially with all of the gripes of the shop and complaints on on how all of that has handled you need to give the power to the players here tm trademark um 
but yeah, I, I really like this. This is a very aggressive season plan, um, but I think it plays well to the current riders and other folks who may be skeptical of the game. You need to really send it hard. If you're going to try and pull some people from from left field who may otherwise not play this game, you need to hit them with the kitchen sink and you need to be like, hey, here's everything. <laughs> like, Go have fun. This game is yours to create and, and ride how you want to. And here we go. Rounding out the pack today, we have none other than low key gaming starting out season one winter crash going to be BMX tricks, battles, catch the flag, a new arena themed or theme deathmatch team deathmatch. Either way, we're getting a deathmatch season one. Funkies are going to look like a long board, a cross board, motocross, ATV. Let's go and then season one is also going to be rounded out with new park updates every other month interesting season two name discover festival main focus is going to be a brand new arena with a funky uh, uh mitch please help um, v-i-n ving surfing wind wing surfing wing wing, wing. like a like a yeah. bird's wings surfing I'm here for it. And then season two others every other month. We're going to get some updates on the parks around the map. Uh, season three does not have a name, does not have a main focus, but oh, no, those are repeats. It looks OK. Never mind. We don't have a season three. We just have three seasons throughout the year. That's fine. I'm here for it. It's avant garde. You do you, boo. Season four, however, it's going to be that summer skate festival. That main focus is going to be a big old game of skate. Those funkies looking like an OG skateboard plus a mini skate and a crossboard. And last but not least, X Games skate parks, new parks every other month. The ability to use stalls like in rock and uh, like rock and roll, uh, and to be able to use both rails and stalls on more obstacles. It's a tall order. I yeah. like it. Uh, what is a crossboard? Crossboard. Where was that? I'm that googling it right now. Longboard crossboard. What is crossboard? You stand sideways. Sh should we do it? Did you find it? I did not. Crossboarding. Crossboard. Oh, that is the uh, process of looking at existing employees, assessing yeah, who might be not... suitable for a vacant position, and training and adapting them to a new. Okay, <laughs> we don't know what crossboarding is. Low key gaming. If Maybe you could please cross? provide. What's that? Board cross. Is it maybe board cross? Maybe let it is board know. cross. <laughs> Please let us know down below what cross board is. If it's board cross, I really like that. Uh, we saw board cross in the Winter Olympic DLC in Steep, and it was a mm -hmm. bunch of fun. It's it's racing snowboards on a track that's built for racing. So uh, the main focus is here that really stood out to me were the arena. We, we hit the arena a couple different times. Obviously, we have more tricks battles, catch the flag mode, team death matches, but that arena and I he left it blank, but just, you know, having an ability, is it for board cross? Is it for BMX? Is it a skate arena? It does it change? Is it a different arena every other month? Is that arena just that's the dynamic switch? They build a massive hub and boom, every month, just like GTA, there's different things in that spot. I like that one. I think yeah. that's what you do. You make an indoor outdoor stadium. every other month. And then you have an event or and you can have a big event in the summer and winter, too, where you open that roof up and then you have like one day's the skateboard set up and then the next day is right. the dirt bike set up and just have a whole thing. And yeah, I, I really like that idea as well, because this game is so built on like the exploration and it's it's massive. You know, you can do different things everywhere, but having a very central spot, especially with BMX and especially it sounds like a lot of people want smaller wheel sports. So your scooters, your inline skates, your skateboards, um, those all don't require like traversing miles and you know, kilometers of distance to get to the next thing. Um, the traversal part of those sports is is not what we're here for. We're here for the parks. We're here for the action, the, the very short and, and contained. So putting an arena in there that switches and has different vibes to it, that would make sense. And that, that would have to come with those smaller wheel sports, like I said.
Yeah, and I think if they focus on some of those smaller sports too, ones that you see in cities, the BMX, the skateboard, you can eventually build up a cool map where you have a couple different cities like Mammoth scattered around, and then you'll have the people who are usually in the city, and you'll have the people who are usually up in the wild and up on the mountains, and then skiing and snowboarding, and then you'll have those occasional crossovers. So there'll be almost like two rival styles of people who are either out in nature or who out really grinding it out on like with the technical tricks oh so we're starting like territory wars and Mm -hmm. like gang wars here as well boy the future if any of these options are selected for year two in riders republic we're set for for a killer season uh i cannot wait to see what the game actually brings to us um but before we get to that like next year i believe next week at least at the start of the main topic who knows these have been two very long episodes. We might make it the entire main topic next week to keep it short. Mitch and I are going to present our year two guesses uh, and what we want to see and what we think the game is going to look like in just a couple short months. So stick around for that if you care to hear our thoughts. They're going to be heavily inspired by all of y'all out here. Uh, thank you once again to our folks who submitted Lucas Skip, Gunny, Mr. Man, Flo B, Jaden, Hollow Endeavor, Mr. Water, Braden, Teal Pop, and Low Key Gaming. Thank you all very much for participating in the forum. Uh, I think that does it. This Okay, let me ask you one final question before we bounce. It's already long. A couple more seconds is not going to make a difference. Did the format work? <laughs> Did running through all of them and then talking <laughs> about them save us? Anytime you're the keeper of the timesheet over there. What are we looking like here? I don't think it did, to be <laughs> honest. So there's Whatever. no great format. We'll just we talk no matter what. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Turn the camera on, put the mic in front of us and we're gone. So let's get gone to the next segment so we can wrap this episode up. It's time for the Riders Roundup. <laughs> We're kicking off this week's roundup with a clip from Hollow Endeavor taking the BMX to Mammoth City. And boy, does it look good. And the snow is caked on those tires. Yeah, Uh, this is beautiful. Just proving that it can happen. And uh, yeah, I mean, what more can you say? It's it's gorgeous. This is a great video. Uh, Go give Hollow some love over there. Uh, Just, yeah, throwing it down. My goodness. Yeah, and I wanted to see the BMX be used in Mammoth City, so I'm expecting a lot more of those clips. We also have our very famous BMXer, Ian Hawk BMX, celebrating 1,000 subs on hey. YouTube, so congratulations. Looks like Huge. he put together a montage with uh, clips from a lot of people, so you could submit, and then he's just got this long 10-minute edit. Yet another YouTuber that's going to pass us before we... No, I'm just kidding. Um, someone someone, please get Ian one of these nice nifty 1,000 subscriber things that we have up on the wall back here. Congrats to Ian. Uh, we've been here since day one, uh, and it has, it has been a pleasure to watch you grow. Yet another banging video. I mean, what more could you want from someone who's quickly, uh, quickly living up to legend status? Yes. And finally, we have two other legends in the community, Kuno and Jimmy Cruck, with a new montage called Noir. They are tearing it up, again, Mm -hmm. focusing somewhat on the BMX because it just came out and it's that beautiful. And we'll leave this one, leave this one running for the end of the episode. (laughs) That sounded like you actually like manually reversed your like (laughs) it was really impressive. Um, And speaking of impressive, Kuno's editing skills are second to none like the video the tricks are phenomenal but could you imagine like an ian hawk trick montage with kuno's editing yeah make it happen like boys. and i'm not I, I really don't want it to sound like kuno doesn't have the skills kuno's got the juice all right like come on kuno's got the skills he, he's he's up to snuff here i'm just saying like you can buy mm, mm. Yeah, that's all you need. Go make it happen, please. Thank you so much for joining us for a rambly episode 46. Uh, 46th episode of our first 100 guaranteed episodes of the Riders Report. Yes, and a very special thanks goes out to a few people that I know are still watching at this point. Our <laughs> YouTube members, executive Hurts. producers, Bone Crusher 2D, Coach 34, and my mom, our fans and fans plus and co-producers in there too. 
Yeah, and special shout out to Mama Bell this week. She knows why. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you would like to join this illustrious list and become one of our members here at Nick and Mitch, uh, you're not only just joining for the extra perks, you're also supporting the channel monetarily so we can make these videos, have the cool transitions, use that awesome music that we have bumping throughout. You know, it, it all every little bit helps. Um, you can hit join down below to check out the cool perks that do come along with that, such as early access to this show, plus emojis and badges here on YouTube, a members only video per month, plus sneak peeks on our current projects and a little bit more. You can also just subscribe to catch all of our great videos, Riders Republic ones, the Riders Report, and our TFG video edit competition coming up soon. And finally, there's a ton of links down below that we sometimes use and we sometimes don't. So just click on everything blue in the description. Yeah, figure out if it's one of the links that we use. Maybe it's not. It's just, you have to click them to figure out what they do. Uh, thank you again so much for tuning in for episode 46. We will see you back here, same place, same time next week with episode 47, where Mitch and I will share our ideas on uh, Riders Republic year two. Until then, I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you in on the slopes. What they don't know is until then, next week we change our names, where I'm Mitch and you're Nick. They're, they're not going to know what hit.